Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to put a Facebook Connect or have Facebook inside of a Unity iPhone project. Uh, this is pretty useful especially for if you want to make your game more viral or your application more viral uh, and you want to post something on the user's wall so that their friends see it and they can talk about it and they can also download it and so on. So the example I'm going to be showing is not the only way to do this, but it's the way that we've done it with our studio Cobalt Play. And we've actually integrated these, uh, this, the Facebook Connect login and the posting to the wall inside of some of our games. And in fact, we did it on our, our latest one here, which is, uh, this is called Killer Shooting Sniper X. Uh, version 1.0 is in the market already and this is version 1.1 1 .1. uh, and as I was doing this Facebook Connect thing I thought hey why don't we do a tutorial on this because it, it should be very useful for everyone. So just to demonstrate basically this is the shopping, the shop scene inside of the game. Uh, we've got three guns here but this rocket launcher right at the bottom this is it has two options one you can buy it and one you can unlock it for a temporary period of time when you post to your Facebook wall so that's that's what this does. Now, if I tap on the unlock button there, uh, I'll just demonstrate this and it should pop up in a second. There we go. So you just posted to your wall and congratulations, you unlocked, you unlocked the Orton rocket launcher for three play sessions. So that's, that's great. So it's incentivized viralness that should make the game more popular. Now, if the user is not logged into Facebook, what they will get, um, if they're not logged in on their, on their mobile or their iPhone, is they'll get a pop-up showing them, hey, please put your name and your password, or it'll go to the official Facebook application, or in some cases it'll go in here. It sometimes goes to the Safari page, and then you log in and you, the user has to grant access to the application. So that's just to let you guys know the process of what would happen. But on here, because I've already logged in, it just automatically posts, which is great. The user doesn't have to do anything, but just tap one button, and then you know they post their wall, and they get something in return. So... The steps for it, I'm going to go through these, and just so you know, this is not a, a, a beginner's tutorial, this is an intermediate tutorial, so I'm not going to explain all of the code, this is really at people who have some Unity iPhone experience and want to gain some more insight into Facebook marketing and, and how to make their game a little bit more viral, so I'm not going to explain everything. But if I do miss anything out, guys, please drop a comment, a message, and so on, and, and we'll, we'll help you figure that out. I'll either reply back or do a separate video for you. So let me just check my notes here. So I said, yeah, Facebook is, is a great way to market. Um, yeah, my approach really is, is not the only way to integrate this, but it's the way that I've done it. And, and you guys will probably find this quite easy to do as well. So we use, um, we use a plugin from a company called Prime31, and this is their website here. We've used a lot of their plugins across iPhone and Android. Great, great plugin company. I totally recommend them 100%. Really good support. And the Unity Forum has a very good thread all about how to get these plugins integrated. It makes it a lot easier because it means we don't have to touch Xcode, Objective C. We also don't have to touch the Android SDK using Java because I really don't know those very well. I can just stay inside of Unity and then make the calls from inside JavaScript in Unity or, or C Sharp. So, you know, definitely check these out. Uh, it is a paid plugin, and it's totally worth the price. It saves a lot of time, so definitely go to Prime Thirty One, check it out. So the first thing is what you'll need to do is, like I say, get the plugin, which is the social networking plugin. And if you click on uh, Unity, then click on iOS, scroll down. I'm actually on the IP API instructions page here, but if you go uh, Prime Thirty One dot com, go to Unity iOS and then go to the social networking plugin down here, uh, Twitter and Facebook, then you can purchase that and this is the API page which explains a little bit how to do that. So if you're ever stuck on anything, please check this page out as well. So once you've got that, the next thing is to do is insert the package inside of your Unity project. So what you do is go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, locate where the package was downloaded to and in my case it is packages prime 31 and as you can see here i've got a lot of these packages because i they're awesome they've saved a lot of time and on android as well find the social networking plugin and click open another pop-up will then appear uh, showing you the list of files that are going to get imported just click import and then it will it will import into your unity project i'm not showing that here because i have already imported it and i don't want to overwrite anything that i've already uh, that i've changed so I'm, I'm just 
just telling you guys how to do it as opposed to demonstrating. Uh, the point to notice here, guys, is that this package here, this social networking package from Prime31, is actually from last year. They've got a newer one now that has more function calls, more API calls, and uh, gives you a lot more functionality. So it'll be slightly different from what I'm doing here, but I've actually browsed the API page and most of the function calls are pretty much the same. So you shouldn't have too much trouble integrating the newest version um, into your Unity project, but just FYI so you guys know, okay? So once the package is in, then that's it's inside the Unity project. What we need to do is, yeah, we need to get the application ID in Facebook. So in Facebook, we need to create an app and then get the app ID because that needs to be used, okay? So the way to do that is if you go to the developers.facebook.com, you'll need to log into your Facebook page, click on this build apps on Facebook icon. Bear in mind guys that this is now June 2012. A couple of weeks or months later, this layout might change a little bit, but it shouldn't change that much. You'll still be able to create apps. So once you click on here, you'll be taken to this page and you'll see, I'm sorry it's ghosted out, I had to take a screenshot because my, my internet connection is not too good today. Create new app here, and this pop-up will appear. Now, you just have to enter the app name, and for the sakes of this video, I've just done example app for video. Click on continue, and then you'll be taken to the next page, which is uh, this one here, and it's created the application for you, and this app ID at the top is the one that we want, okay? So, but before we just move off this page, what you have to do here is a, just a little bit of setup. Click on the native iOS app. We're only doing iPhone or iOS today. We're not doing Android. So the information that you need is the iOS bundle ID, this one here. And inside of Unity, just in case you don't know, if you go to file, build settings, and I usually do it this way, click on player settings, and it's this bundle ID here under the other settings tab. So just copy this paste it into the bundle ID section, get your iPhone App Store ID or your iPad App Store ID, and if you go into iTunes, click on the Applications tab, I think it's called, or Manager Applications, find the application in the list, and then click on it, and get this Apple ID number here, paste it into there, and then click on Configured for, I, uh, con configured for iOS SSO, if I can say that, click on enabled and then save changes. And that's pretty much all you need to do on the Facebook developers side, developers.facebook.com, it's, it's really simple. The only thing, other thing that I do is I edit an icon and that, so that gives it a custom icon, which in this case is the icon for Killer Shooting Sniper X. So that looks a little bit more interesting. When the person sees the post, they're gonna see that, that icon for the game. So that's, I totally recommend putting in a, a custom icon in there, okay? Let's go back into Unity, and so we now have the app ID. We need to set up a URL scheme, and that's so that they can use a single sign-on process, which is where they get a pop-up and you just type in the name and the password, and then it stays signed in. So that's pretty easy to do inside of Unity, and Prime31, as awesome as they are, have set up a way for us to do it easily. So click on Prime31, and then the next thing, if I can remember correctly, is info.plisteditions. And then the next thing that you need to do is on the CRF, CF bundle URL scheme, just drop this down, make the size to one, and when you initially open up, it'll be zero. Then you need to type in FB followed by your application ID, and then just click Save Changes. Okay, so now once all that setup is done, the next thing is we need to actually get this code integrated into the game, into the Unity project, so that, that we can start posting to the, face, the user's Facebook wall, okay?